Hi guys, this is Cal from Dirty Weasel Media. Welcome back to the mod organizer for Fallout New Vegas series. This video kicks off the sections on guns, 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 and it will be in multiple parts since there is so much to cover. Today we'll be making the vanilla weapons in-game a little easier on the eyes by using texture mods. We'll kick off with the awesome Weapon Retexture Project, or WRP, by Millennia, and include all the individual add-ons and re-retextures. Then we'll move on to the Gunrunner's Arsenal version of WRP. And finally, we'll round things off by giving a little lovin' to those heavy weapons and a select energy rifle. We have a lot of work to do, so let's get started. Alright guys, so let's get started here. So we have a lot to cover, and we're going to start with, of course, Millennia's Weapon Retexture Project. And as you know, it, it covers a lot of the different guns in-game, as far as the vanilla firearms, and they are fabulous. They definitely improve the appearance and textures of the weapons that you have in-game. You know, it's worthwhile having them, because it it a big improvement. I'm going to go through and show you a video of the vanilla weapons and what they look like. Kind of give a little critique about a few of the select ones, and you'll see a, a variety of them that are going to be covered in this portion of the video. And so let's just go to that right now and get started. So here we are, guys. We're going to take a look at some of the vanilla weapons and what they look like. So this is the 44 Magnum. Uh, kind of as a side note, I have one of these. Actually, I have a Smith & Wesson. Long barrel, but uh, it kind of looks like a really low texture of the, you know, steel. It doesn't look like it's blued at all. Just kind of, it's all worn off. It's pretty low quality. This is the 357 Magnum single action revolver. If you look closely at it, probably you can see it has a kind of a buffalo horn handle. But the, the quality of the metal looks like it's, like, age 10 or something. It's horrible. Look at that thing. There's the brush gun, 4570. The barrel's very pitted. And looks horrible. Look at that. The wood is pretty low quality. I would say the sight on that, we'll take a look at it. It's not that good. So it's peep sight. You can see a couple little green dots at the end, but the receiver is very rusted. You can see the quality is not that great. The hunting revolver, uh, once again, just kind of flat metal. Has no texture to it. Obviously, it's hard to look through because with that you have the scope on it. But uh, you can see it's pretty, pretty plain. Nothing, nothing special going on there. So not a very good model at all. This is the single shotgun. It is one of the mods we'll be installing today. We'll show you that one as well, but I want you to see it up close. There's the first person view. Uh, not very attractive. This is Christine COS Silent Sniper. If you look closely at the texture on this, it's more of a kind of a gray green metal. Not very attractive texture at all. You obviously can't look through the sight on this one because it'll just show a crosshair. So she wants you to get a close up look at that. So there you go. This is the Bozar. This is the GRA version. Flat metal once again, no particular detail to it. It is one of the mods we'll be covering today and for comparison's sake, now you get a look at it. This is the Gunrunner's Arsenal Battle Rifle. Take a close look at that stock. That is an ugly, ugly texture. Not really much to say about it except for it's really poorly done. So, it doesn't look good at all. First person view. You see the close up of the receiver and the peep sight there. There you go. I, I chose this one because it really is a very good example of the improvement that one of the mods will be doing later on today we'll definitely clean this up this is the gunrunner's arsenal anti-material gun i want you to take a close look at this the finished version will not be that much different but 
the quality of the textures will be much better. So when you're looking at this thing, you'll see that it, it looks a lot better after we mod it up and refix the texture. So there you go. You see that close up there. You can see what it looks like. Okay, so now that we've seen that, we can, you know, it's a point of reference. That's all it is, point of reference, so you can kind of get an idea of what we're looking at. So, you know, I have Mod Organizer up and running. You can see I have all the mods up to date. Well, a few that I added, you know, since we were last on, but you get an idea. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the internet, and uh, if you ever want to download anything, just go ahead and go to Search Nexus Network for more mods get these and we'll just go and look at them right now the first thing up is the weapon retexture project wrp by millennia the king of all weapon retextures and he makes a bunch of different weapons as well that we'll add in the game later on when we start adding more weapons but for today we're just going to go ahead and you know re retexture the ones we have so it is mod 38285 and you can see it's been downloaded a lot you come down here, you look at it, there's not really much here. So if you can go to the installation and look at that, but we're more interested in the change log. Let's just take a look at all the weapons that were redone. And here's the list. And you can see it is a lot. I mean, if you think about the amount of work that went into each of the retextures for this, this is a huge undertaking. But what we're after is the files. And you can see here you have... Weapon Retexture Project 1.95. Four, run, four guns redone entirely. This is just the newest version. Okay. You'll see two other files down here. Uh, the new 12.7 millimeter SMG for better and GRA compatible. Okay, good. You have Christine COS Rifle. Makes Christine COS Rifle use a unique texture. By default, it has no separate texture. Okay. So here's what we want you to do. I want you to download with Manager the Weapon Retexture Project 1.95. I want you to download the new 12.7 SMG, and I want you to download Christine's COS Rifle. And what that's going to do, if you look at the Mod Organizer, you'll have them over here in the download section. You can see I have them in a really crappy order, but you, you'll get the point when I, when I start talking about this. I want you to get a few other things first. There were a couple of weapons that need to be re retextures, and one of them was the single shotgun re retexture. Of course, it was done by Millennia. They fixed some stuff in it. You need to have the weapon retexture project to make use of this, so just keep that in mind. If you want to look at it, you can. You've seen in the video what it looks like before. I want you to go ahead and go to Files, and I want you to just download with the manager. All right. There was one other weapon that we will be having a re-retexture, and that was the 357 revolver re-retextured. It should be all fixed. You know, once again, you need a weapon retexture project. Go to files and download that with manager. And you see we have 357 and a single shotgun right there. There they are. All right. Lastly, we are going to go ahead and pick up the Bozar retexture, and there it is. Okay, the Bozar retexture by Millennia. It was basically not meshed correctly. It's not a re retexture. It was just it had some missing meshes, and and now they'll all appear quickly. All right, or correctly. So go ahead and once again, Bozar retexture 2K maps and the Bozar retexture 4K maps. It's up to you. I. I don't see any problem with the 2K maps. I think it looks better. So uh, just go ahead and download that with Manager. And we will go ahead and minimize this and open up our mod organizer. Now, we have obviously this is in the wrong order, but you'll go ahead and uh, there's the weapon retexture project right there. We we'll double click that and we look at the manual. Okay. And it's not going to give any game data on top. So set data directory. Meshes, textures, and everything by millennia.txt. If you want to, you know, read this, you can. Uh, I'm just going to click it off. I don't need it in the files. And it looks good. Go ahead and click OK. And it is done. So come down here. We're going to activate it. And we're going to move it. Just move it up top here. I think it should be probably around 
the retextures issues. And you know, these are all my retextures, Poco Bueno, MSC's texture pack, and all this stuff. I think the retextures should be long up here. If you check conflicts, it's going to re reduce some Yukichi guys patches, and that's fine. I don't see a problem with that. I'd rather have Yukichi guys up at the top than anywhere else. So those are that's a good spot for them. So we've now done that. Let's just go ahead and clean this up. Remove from view. So what we have are the retextures for the 357, the single shotgun, the 12.7 millimeter SMG, Christine's, okay, and the Bozar. Ignore this for now. Now, after a discussion with SRB, there are a couple ways of doing this. You could go ahead and let's just select the single shotgun. Okay. Just hit manual and see what we get. Okay. You're going to have meshes and textures and an ESP. Right. So what we want to do is merge the two retextures, the 357 retex and the shotgun retex, re-retex, both of these, into Weapon Retexture Project WRP. So you're going to go ahead and double click to install it, do the 357 first, and we're going to click manual. And you can see we have a retex ESP also in this. But we're going to need to rename this to Weapon. Sorry, my fingers aren't working this morning. Retexture project hyphen WRP. Okay. And we click OK. Now this mod seems to be already installed. Do you want to add files from this archive? No. We don't want to replace it. We want to merge it in. Okay. Now when we go ahead and open Retexture Project, you're going to go over to Optional ESPs, and you'll be presented with an ESP that we don't need. SRB recommends that we just go ahead and highlight it, move it to optional, right? And we can go ahead and close that. So now when you open this up, and go to File Tree, you have Meshes Textures, Weapons, One-Handed Pistol, that's where we want. It's going to be in here, right? So there's that. You can see the change dates in there. Okay. So we can go and close that. It's it's in there. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the single shotgun retexture. Manual. And you can see that there's a single shotgun retex ESP in there. Uh, do I have an option in there? Nope, I don't. So we do it again. Weapon. Retexture. Project. WRP. It looks good. Look okay. Seems to be already installed. Yeah, we know that. And we want to merge it in. Okay. So now we have, we open this up, go to optional ESPs. We have the single shotgun retex ESP. We don't need that. We can just go ahead and move it up there to optional. So it's no longer active. Okay. If we left it down here, let's just close this and perform an experiment. Go to our plugins. You'll see single shotgun retex of the ESP at the bottom. We don't need that. We can just go ahead and downloads, open this up, optional the ESPs, and we'll move it up. Plugins, and it's gone. It's not there. Okay. That's kind of you know what you want to do with that. Let's go back to our downloads. We're going to hide these. We know those are done. We don't need those anymore. We can go ahead and just remove them from our view. This is where, where there were some questions. You know, in the Weapon Retexture project, you had these two files. Okay, the 12.7 SMG and Christine COS. So, what do you do with these? I talked to SRB, and he recommended that you could go ahead and install these as their own files. And they would overwrite Weapon Retexture project and whatever else, okay? If you wanted to just manually do that. Okay. I've already done done an experiment. Excuse me one second. So we'll just do see last project. Okay. Okay. So you'll have meshes, textures, and the ESP. You could install that just like that. It's going to end up at the bottom here. And we'll put it below weapon retexture project to keep it together. You're going to find it has you know wrong updates. Don't worry about that just now. But you know 
it's going to have its own ESP. Come down, look, there it is, Christine's COS ESP. You know, that's one way of doing it. And SRP recommends that, you know, if you want to make sure that if you have any updates that, you know, say, you know, this update comes up and you want to go ahead and get the newest texture for Christine COS rifle, you can should leave this as an op as a file all on its own. I just don't feel that's necessary. When was the last time this was done? 2011. I don't see an update coming for this. I don't see an update coming for the 12.7 SMG. Not at this point. Not at 2015. Not with Fallout 4 on its way. I don't think that's necessary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Whoop, I'm going to remove the mod. And I've tested this, obviously. You know, I'm going to go ahead and hit manual. I've already put in Weapon Retexture Project WRP. Right. I'm going to click OK, and it's going to put that into Weapon Retection WRP. I want you to go ahead and merge that. Okay, We're going to do the same procedure we did with the shotgun and 357, optional ESPs, move it up. Done. All right. When you open this up now, go to your file tree, Boop. weapons. Uh, is it two-hand automatic or two-hand rifle? I can never remember. Let's just look here. Nope, it must be two-handed rifle. Let's close this down. I can never remember where stuff goes. Weapons, two-handed rifle. There it is. Come down. Christine COS. Okay. There's all the Christine COS stuff that was redone in 2011. So there it is. So you can see the original mod was 2011. You know. And this was Christine COS September. Okay. Just different things. Don't worry about that too much. But you can see it's in there now. And I tested it out and it works. So that got me to thinking if it works, why not combine some of these things into a single file? He recommends, obviously, that you go ahead and input them manually and below it and have them all kind of grouped together. So if there's any updates, I don't see that happening. So I'm going to go ahead and rename, and I'm going to call this WRP-Combine. Now, it has all those weapon mods, all those retextures in that file. So when I go through and do the new 12.7 SMG, WRP-Combine, just check the manual, meshes and textures. There's no ESP to mess around with this. Go ahead and click OK. And we're going to merge that in. And then we're going to do the same with the Bozar retexture. But we're going to call it, obviously, WRP combined. Click Manual, Meshes and Textures, click OK. Merge it in. All right. So now when you go in and look at this thing, it's going to have a bunch of Optional ESPs, those are all clear. There's nothing left down in here because those other ones that we did didn't have anything in them. So those are the two options. I chose for this because I don't see them being, you know, updated anytime soon. I just don't. So I'd rather have one combined file. And if something's updated, okay, I'm fine with that. But if something new comes out, I can just throw it into WRP combined. So, you know, I, it's a personal choice. I don't see things being updated anytime soon on that, and that's just my thing. All right, I'd rather have one thing down here, and it has all my textures in there for Weapon Retexture Project. And we'll just call it that. Good. I'm fine with that. So, we're going to go ahead and hide these. Remove from view, remove from view, and remove from view. Minimize that down, and we're going to go look at the next thing. We can go ahead and close these. Boy, there's a lot of tabs open. Okay. Now, go away. So the Gunrunners Arsenal WRP, unofficial patch version 0.2, and it's done by Millennia and Mikolov. It is mod 50279. And what this does is it gives the Millennia treatment to the Gunrunners Arsenal weapons. And you can come down here and you can see the weapons affected. 12.7 unique pistol, not the not the semi uh, semi automatic machine gun. This is the uh, or small machine gun, excuse me, 12.7 pistol, 
the assault carbine, the medicine stick, unique hunting rifle, the antimaterial rifle, the hunting revolver, the 5.6 pistol, 5.56 pistol, so uh, also known as that gun, the battle rifle, and sleepy time. So what you're going to do on this is go ahead and grab the files. And you can see it is only one file. Fix the Rogue 5.56mm pistol entry. Last done in 2013. So you would go ahead and click down with, Download with Manager. And this is kind of what we talked about between SRB and I. If you... Let's just minimize this down. If you look at this, we'll pull this up. We just had them all here for a reference point. Open this up. It's going to have the foam mod, meshes, textures. The foam mod's not going to work, but... Meshes, textures, the JR2 patch ESP. So it's going to have its own ESP. I would go ahead and recommend, even though you could put the meshes and textures into WRP combined, and it will work. I tested it. It did work. I think that there is potential there for an issue, and that's because of the nature of this ESP that's contained in here. So what we're going to do is go ahead and, you know, double click it to install manual. And we're going to put GRAWRP, unofficial patch version 2.2, version point two. Full mod meshes, textures. I don't need the full mod. Click that off. Meshes, textures, the ESP for this mod, and the readme. I never include my readmes, right? Meshes, textures, and the ESP. Go ahead and click OK. And you'll find it down here at the bottom. Go ahead and highlight it, and we're going to move it where you go. SRP. There it is. Right. And we'll go ahead and just ignore update. There we go. That's because I threw in all those other mods in there and messed up the uh, the update. So, GRA WRP unofficial patch version two, version two. Go into plugins, and you can see it's going to be all the way down here at the bottom. Now, what do you do with this one? I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run loot. It keeps dropping my toolbar down there. So I'll put this at 4 gigabyte. There we go. Ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and run loot. I want to see where loot puts this. And let's see. Uh, I don't know where it's at. I have no idea where it's at. WRP, GRA. Put it at the bottom. That's kind of interesting. Oh, that's my... I forget. This is the new loot. I forget how this is, you know, figured out here. So, you can see this is our present one. It's going to be at the bottom. Okay. I keep forgetting how this new version works. So, we're going to head, go ahead over here and sort plugins. Sort. Okay. Let's see where it recommended it. It was the WRP GRA. Still says at the bottom. Okay, I'm fine with that. Whatever he wants to do, I'm fine with that. And close that. Made the changes. You know, I, I'm i still having issues with this. I don't like it being down here. A project reality needs to be, you know, at the bottom. So this is one of those cases that loot, I don't trust it. It, it may say it's going to work just fine, but I'm I'm still hesitant. So I'm going to put this up here. Put this up here with that. Okay, these are, you know, different things. And if I need to play with it later, I can. All right, it should work just fine. It says the Naval Masters Fallout New Vegas ESM and the Gunner's Arsenal ESM. All right, those are up here. Those will be fine. I'm going to try that and see what happens. I think this will be fine. It doesn't have any conflicts with WRP. It doesn't, you know, change much in here. So just, just keep that in mind that if it, you know, you throw an error because loot is saying something different. Just keep that in mind, okay, guys? So, that's done. Let's go ahead and we will go in game and take a look at it. So, here we have the 44 Magnum. It's been redone and uh, it looks a lot better. If you go close up here, you can see it actually uh, looks like it's worn bluing. So, it's more of a black. It has that 44 Magnum on the side that makes it look big and nasty okay and you can see the handle has been redone you can see kind of hard to get a close look in there you can see the checkering on the grip is is quite nice now and you know it it's a general big improvement so 
you know, if you uh, look through this, you can see it, it looks a lot better. I mean, you can see the shells and the, uh, the texture in the back is really great. There you go. I'm going to reload it. You can see the action on it. Looks a lot better. So there you go. That's 44 Magnum. This is the 357 revolver. You can see actually now it, when you look at the metal on it, it looks like, you know, worn stainless. It's kind of nice. The hammer has been blacked. The, uh, you can see on the side, it's hard to see. Can't get a close up there. It has actually a Colt symbol on the side. But when you look at it, it reminds me more of a Ruger Blackhawk. It does, uh, the way it is. But, you know, it, it's a good, you know, maybe a Colt Peacemaker is what uh, Millennium was going for. I think it looks a lot nicer. It, it's, it's sweet. Very nice gun. Here is the brush gun. It, uh, you can see it's actually, once again, kind of a worn blacking on that. The bluing is quite nice. The, the material on the forearm stock is... A lot sweeter it's you know, tighter grained it doesn't have as much uh, differential there you can see interior there it's it, it looks good I think it looks very nice uh, first person the site is a little cleaner the the receiver on the back is a little a little uh, highly detailed so you got that the rear stock the leather is has some nice stitching on the back now it looks good I think it's a Big, big improvement. And the barrel. We talked about the barrel before. Still got that kind of a weird crown on it, but that's okay. But the barrel looks much cleaner. It doesn't look as rusted and pitted. Here's the hunting revolver. Uh, once again, you know, the, the texture on it is very nice. It looks like just worn bluing. There's actually, you know, the s scope doesn't look as as defined as it did before, it actually matches the rest of the weapon. It kind of had this weird contrast thing. It didn't look right. The grip is uh, nicely textured now, but uh, big overall improvement. Actually, see, kind of weird. Actually, see down it, see down it, and see the, some of the bullet heads poking out a little bit. So much better. Here is the single shotgun. It has some big improvements. I mean, it's kind of weird. It actually looks like it's duct taped on instead of roped on. It's but the stock is very nice. It's kind of worn and got some nicks and scratches in it. And it looks quite good. The receiver. A little cleaner. It's still hard to see the 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 uh, the bead on the end of the barrel. But yeah, that's okay. I'm not too worried about that. Sometimes it's the little things that uh, make a difference in one of these retextures. If you come up close, and you, you probably won't be able to see it in first person at all or in third person. But if you look closely at it, You'll actually say the manufacturer. It says New England Firearms, uh, manufactured in Gardner, Massachusetts, USA, with the patent number, serial number, and it even gives the model number on the top. It's a partner model SB1 20 gauge 3 inch mod. That's just that's just the type of level of details that we're talking about. Sometimes you can't even see them, but uh, it's pretty cool. So this is Christine's uh, Silence sniper rifle. Uh, I can see more, it's more of a black texture now, and uh, you can see the level of detail on the on the silencer there. Much crisper, much cleaner. The stock is a lot better. Kind of looks like a Palmer brown. But you can see the level of detail on this is really nice once you get up close. So, uh, much, much improved. Here, of course, is the Bozar. Uh, big improvement. It's no longer kind of a just a plain metal. It has some detail to it. It's more of a blacked out. The barrel is is finely grooved and has some nice detail to it. It has a huge muzzle brake. Look at that thing. Very nice. And uh, you can see it has kind of a wood forearm and a wooden grip in the back. Uh, nicely done. Very nicely done. Here, of course, is the battle rifle. And uh, you can see it's much improved. The stock is very pretty. I mean, it looks very smooth. It looks like it's a worn weapon of war. Oops, it came out a little bit. So you can see the front side is very nice. And the back side is very good. No real detail on the, on the receiver. But uh, it's very well done, I think. It looks good. You can see in the first person, 
it actually is a little crisper, a little cleaner to see. Having a little bit of white highlight around the peep actually you know, makes the sight picture a lot nicer. And you can see in first person view, it'll actually you know, give a little bit of the detail about the serial number, the type of rifle it is. That's, that's a nice touch. And here, of course, is the anti-material rifle. Uh, you can see the detail on this. It's more of a black now. The detail on the front is very nice. It looks worn. looks uh, very good. The level of detail on the receiver is much improved. Remember I said it's not that much of a difference, but you can see how the bolt action actually stands out now. It's not lost in the receiver. It's hard to see this uh, other side here. There's not really much detail going on the inside. I looked at it in, in a free cam. Not much to say there, but you know it looks so much nicer now. We have a fully armed and operational weaponry texture project. It looks great. That it did exactly what we talked about. So it's a big, 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 big improvement. So now that we've got WRP all buttoned up and out of the way, we can go ahead and move on to the next couple little mods. And one of them's pretty easy to install. The other one's a little more complicated. The first one we're going to be doing is retextured Fallout Ordnance. And basically what it does is gives a little loving or a little retexturing to some of the heavy weapons in the game. If you want an example of what we're looking at here, you can go ahead. I've pulled up some pictures and I have one here of Annabelle, the unique rocket launcher that uh, you can find out in the wastelands. And you can see it's basically just a rocket launcher with a few extra graphics pasted on. And in the back, you can see Annabelle isn't really clear. It's kind of, it, you'll lose it in the background. So. I lose it in the texture. Now, when we pull up the second picture, you can see a big difference. It's a nice green color. It has a lot more texture to it. And those graphics, they really pop now. In the back of the rocket launcher, you'll see the Annabelle is in bright red. It looks a lot better. The controls are a little nicer, too. So there's an example of what it does or what it looks like. And uh, let's go ahead and pull it up on the Nexus. And we have the Retextured Fallout Ordnance, or RFO, by Emerald Rain. It is Nexus Mods 44429, and you can see the list of ones that they cover. And you can see so far the incinerator, the heavy incinerator, the minigun, CZ-57, a uh, bunch of different grenade rif rifles, a grenade launcher, the missile launcher, and Annabelle, as we discussed, and the hollow rifle. So you're going to get a new hollow rifle texture on top of that. So there you go. And here we go in the files is what we're after. And there's only one file to download. Download with manager, and you can see we already have it up in mod organizer right there boom and a retextured fallout ordinance just double click to install and we get manual and you see no data on top so right click set data directory textures looks good that's all it's doing is textures no meshes no nothing else and there it is so we want to go ahead and activate that since there's no esp or anything we can just go ahead and move it up without much thought about what it is i'm going to put it right below the others there you go and it's got a conflict. Let's see what it's overwriting. Conflicts. And it's overwriting WRP. So that may not work out the best. If we want to go ahead and close that, we may want to put this above there. And we will go ahead and refresh it just to see what we got. And it's now being overwritten. And let's take a look at our conflicts now. And it's Handling the grenade rifles, WRP combined is handling all that. So basically, some of the grenade rifles stuff, if you want to go ahead and let WRP handle that, you can. Uh, in, in this configuration, WRP would overwrite the grenade rifles from Fallout Ordnance. If you want the other way around, move it down. There you go. If you prefer the retexture for the grenade rifles in the retextured Fallout Ordnance, You'd put it below it if you like it, like WRP is better. You can put it above it. So we'll just go ahead and leave it there for right now. I'll look it over later and you can take a look at it. But uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next mod. I don't want to take too much time. This video is getting a little bit long. And uh, that would be go ahead and cover the layer, the L-A-E-R retexture. It's a one of those rare 
uh, energy weapon retextures and it's fairly well done and you can see here's a before and an after picture you know the after one it looks a lot nicer and has a lot more depth to the depth of the textures of it depth to the the metal and whatnot on it it, it looks a lot better but um, there you go so here we go on the nexus and we'll move on to the next one we'll just go and close this and you see it's the layer retexture by the riff and what you're going to do is go ahead and go to files and download main the cryptically named main and just go and download with manager and you can see I already have it here but before we do that there are some instructions from SRB and of course SRB of the fear and loathing in New Vegas guide and we'll just go ahead and come down to section 9.2 do you feel lucky and it's going to scroll on down to the layer retexture there are some important instructions during install right click data and select data directory untick before png and after png then click ok all right so that seems fairly easy enough to do let's go ahead and go back to mod organizer and we can go ahead and do this set data directory on top let's set data directory and we untick boom boom just like that all right guys that's basically all we're doing on that so it looks good I've already tested these out, obviously, and they, they work just fine. And since there is, let's just double check. There's no ESPs, no nothing like that. It's just made data and textures. So we'll go ahead and move it up, and we will go ahead and put it with the other weaponry texture mods. There you go. So we've got that. Let's just take a look at it real fast, make sure we didn't forget anything. Meshes and textures, that's all we got. So we're good to go there. So that's it. You know, that's a lot of mods we put together in the last 30 minutes. It's going to look great. I think that you'll really enjoy it. And what's next for the mod organizer for Fallen New Vegas series? It's probably going to be Eve. Um, I think that that would be the next obvious choice after doing weapon retextures. So we'll, we'll tackle that next. But uh, just remember, guys, support your favorite modders. Donate to them wisely and often. If you like a mod and it brings you a lot of enjoyment to the game, make sure you support those mod creators. So, that's it. My name's Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off!